video, we'll be looking at committed use discounts in a hands-on way in the Google Cloud Console. Now, committed use discounts are a way to reduce costs by committing to the use of certain resources. There are actually two different areas of committed use discounts, and it's important to understand that these are largely distinct. First, you have the committed use discounts at the billing account level. What this allows you to do is set up certain spend-based discounts for many services, including those which are serverless. Then we have committed use discounts in Compute Engine for specific machine types. And these are going to be at the project level. So two different levels of discounts. The highest level is for most things. The other level here is for specific VM configurations. Now you do need to have a certain amount of permissions to be able to access the committed use discounts. However, if we add that permission and refresh the page, we should get our committed use discounts displayed here. So when you go in to purchase a committed use discount, you're presented with all the different options that we have at this organization level. Now let's pull the curtain back and reveal a multitude of databases and serverless services. Suppose, for instance, we aim to establish a cloud Bigtable commitment. Your only task? Specify an hourly on-demand commitment. Keep in mind, this applies to nodes that power your Bigtable instances, not storage, backup, or network data transfer. You'll find this is a common thread across different commitment types. Here's a quick scenario. You're burning about $10 an hour on Bigtable, and you're eager for a discount. As we punch in this figure, there's a surprise in store, a whole 20% drop in cost, assuming we commit to using that much Bigtable every hour over a set period. That's a neat $1,440 shaved off our total cost. Add up these two figures and you'll get the on-demand, non-committed list price of $7,200 for that usage. 20% of that is where your $1,440 savings comes from. Want to scale the savings mountain higher? Commit to more years. The minimum is a one-year commitment to the services, but you could scale up to a dizzying three-year commitment. While your eyes bulge at these savings, remember that this model offers substantial flexibility in employing those nodes. Mix them up across projects, swap sizes, the freedom is all yours as long as you're using the committed compute within the terms of the commitment. Here's another example. Moving to Dataflow, this is a spend-based commitment again, but it applies to CPU, compute units, and various other consumption units. The consumption units will always match or be some subset of the standard pricing for the services. We're not charging the underlying nature and structure of the service pricing. One final case, unique and worth noting, the Compute Engine Flexible Use Discounts. We have committed use discounts at two levels for Compute Engine, one level for spend-based discounts, and one level of deeper discounts for resource-based commitments. We'll get to resource-based commitments later in the video. Anyway, in any use case, your committed use discounts will always bubble up here. You'll get an overview of whether they're set to auto-renew, their status, and as you navigate along, you'll discover the start and end dates plus the term. Dive into the analysis and you'll see how your spending matches up against these commitments. Looks like there's slightly more on-demand usage than we've covered with the commitments. A lucky break awaits possibly added savings if we notch up our committed usage a bit. The downside is that we'll be paying for that compute whether or not we're actually using it. Our final stop is the recommendations page. Here you can spot potential savings. We also have the insight to right-size instances and flip the switch on idle resources.
We now land at the Compute Engine discount level, where machine-specific options for committed use discounts are on display. While they often promise deeper discounts, it's a careful balancing act with flexibility. At this point, we decide on specific VM types and specific regions, trading a slice of flexibility for a tastier discount. Join us as we chart this course. Again, we have to specify a region, a certain compute type, and then we have to specify cores and memory, and optionally things like GPUs. Let's say, for example, we want eight cores covered along with 16 gigs of memory for a year. We'll see the discounting here that we get for that, and the discount is fairly steep. If we wanted to add GPUs, we could do that as well, and that will give us a discount on the GPU-related portion of the pricing. Let's say we wanted to add a T4 GPU, for example. We'd want to match our T4 GPU committed use discounts with reservations, so we need to create a reservation that covers that T4 GPU type. So we see all the discounting rolled up here for both the compute itself as well as the GPUs. This is going to give us some really nice discounts across a wide variety of compute types, regions, and GPUs. But remember that you're locked into specific regions and compute types, so there's much less flexibility on this one. As a last side note, we have the ability to get licensed software, useful if you're not running much open source. We hope this video was helpful and want to thank you very much for watching. Please enjoy responsibly.